Let's take a look at our fourth problem. It says find the equation of a line using the equation y is equal to mx plus b, uh, which shows the equation of a line in the slope intercept form passes through the point negative 2, negative 1. So passes through negative 2, negative 1, slope of negative 4. And this is uh, finding equation of the line. Now our first step for finding the equation line is find m. Now this one's pretty pretty straightforward. They give us m. They tell us slope is negative four. Our second step. Uh, actually, let me write out all the words. Plug in the given point. So plug in a given point for x and y and m from step one into y equals mx plus b and solve for b. Now there, they give us a point, so this would be your x and this would be your y, so plug negative 1 in for y. m from step 1 was negative 4, and x is negative 2, and then plus b. And then we want to solve for b. Negative 4 times negative 2 is a positive 8. I'm going to take the 8 and move it over to the left side, so we got negative 1 minus 8, and we get b is equal to negative 9. Step three is we want to actually write our answer. So we've got y is equal to mx plus b. m is negative 4, so we've got negative 4x, and b is negative 9. So our answer is y is equal to negative 4x minus 9. Negative 4x minus 9. Looks like d is in David. Now some of you may have learned using a point slope form to do this, and that's fine. If you learned that method, go ahead and continue using that. I used to teach both, and then I had a couple of students from Japan one semester. Um, one, he, she sat in the back row, and she slept every class, it's a three hour class. She'd wake up for the test, uh, ace it, uh, get a hundred on it, go back to sleep. Um, he paid attention. I asked him one night, I said, why do you pay attention? And uh, Which is a weird question to ask a student, um, but he said, uh, his culture was such he could not, if he, when he came to class, he had to, he had to pay attention. Um, and uh, she must have been from a different part of Japan where she had to come to class, but she didn't have to pay attention. Uh, they both could have been teaching the class. It had up through Calc, Calc 2, uh, Calc 3, who knows how far they'd gone, but um, they both aced every test. And he came up and he asked me why I was teaching, uh, showing the point slope form. And I said, well, you need both, depending upon what the problem looks like. And then he proceeded to prove me you don't. You can do everything with a slope-intercept form. And I like that. I like if you can use one formula for 100% of the problems, then, then I, that's what I prefer to, prefer to use. But again, uh, if you use point-slope form and it works for you, fantastic. Keep using that.